Hey, this is Chris, for Tactical. Today we're going to be taking a look at the PTAC 30S and the PTAC 30L. We're going to get these guys soaked, scrubbed up, disassembled, cleaned up, all that good stuff. So I got the 30L already in my bin. Time to get the 30S in there and I'll see you guys when they're uh, time to scrub them up. All right. Now that your suppressor is clean, you're going to have a bunch of parts laying out. Uh, this guy right here, this is the 30S. The 30L is what we're going to be reassembling. Basically, they're the same thing. The difference is two inches shorter, two ounces lighter, two baffles less. Other than that, they go together exactly the same, have the same features. So, the first thing we're going to do with this guy is we're going to do a baffle stack. Um, so we have three different baffles in this configuration. Again, typically, so we have our short baffle with no tabs on the end, but we do have slots at the top. We have our standard baffle, which has slots and tabs. And then we have our blast baffle made of 17-4 stainless. Everything else is titanium. This guy has no slots but tabs only. So that's gonna be the last one in the stack. These standard baffles can stack any way you want. So first thing we're gonna do, we are going to start with, we'll start up here. Our last baffle, our end baffle, and we're gonna just start stacking these standard baffles. All the tabs go in the slots, keeps everything nice and neat. And then our last baffle goes at the top, and then our baffle spacer. Once that's done, all we do is slide our tube on, make sure everything's seated, take our end cap, whichever one we're using. These end caps are interchangeable, so if you're using your, if you have a 30 cal, you're running like a 6.5 or a 223 we do make different end caps for these kind of get back some of that suppressed function um, all right this guy is attached take our star nut and our wrench or you can use a quarter drive socket just give it a little snug you don't have to reef on this All right, she's snug. So now we can put our back mount on. As you can see, we've got nothing going on there. So we can use our standard thread back mount. Again, different um, internal thread pitches for your different muzzle threads or calibers. This threading is a standard one and one eighth by 28. So that turns out to be the same as like say, Silencer Co's alpha thread. So this is a Silencer Co. Alpha ASR mount. If I'm already invested in the Silencer Co. stuff and want a QD, she's ready to rock and roll. Otherwise, if I'm going to do a fix mount, I will just use the appropriate fix mount and get this guy home. weird angle all right so that 30 L's together again 30 s reassembles the exact same way and uh, you're ready to thread it on the end and go shoot for more information about our entire suppressor and accessory lineup please visit www.ptacsd.com or follow the link below thanks for watching